A very good Thursday morning to all of you, the 25th of June, 2020, in the year of Cornholio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's my pal over there. And that German Shepherd. Would love to get a hold of the Rosie girl. I've told you guys before. Uh, just give me, give me the uh, gives me the willies just hearing it. Hope your Thursday's off to a good start. Kind of disconcerting. They had a, a shooting up on the Avenue of Love in the 300 block about 12:30 in the morning. I heard it, man. It was loud. Two people got shot on the sidewalk. That's only a couple hundred feet from home. Luckily, they weren't life-threatening. Uh, injuries but still you just never really see a cop around too much anymore hey guys I get a little worried sometimes about the state of the world it's like we're kind of losing our uh, losing our grip back in the late guy was born in the late 1700s a minister called name was Thomas Malthus and he uh, well let me backtrack a little bit one of the really interesting things in life was majoring in philosophy and political science a double major back in college because you got to absorb a lot of weird theories studying everything from communism to socialism to capitalism the free market and things like that yeah we're gonna we're gonna go there today we're gonna be a little philosophical on our walk and talk today but it was great number uh, number one uh, who in the hell would major in philosophy right? <laughs> so the classes were tiny and the gals were real good looking in uh, philosophy I'm just just kind of joking around but you could really have a lot of interaction with your professors and really get to know your subject matter. So I enjoyed it. And I found it very useful in life, helping to become a more critical thinker, which is never a bad thing. We came upon a guy, an interesting character, a minister named Thomas Malthus, who was born in the late 1700s and died in the early 1800s. He was kind of generally called a pretty gloomy kind of guy, but he had a great theory that the world has to be aware of those times that uh, population growth outstrips the food resources of the world. And he figured when those times happen, then the world gets in big trouble. Stuff hits the fan. You start to have too many people living too close together. The food resources become scarce. Health starts to decline. And before you know it, uh, disease can break out, famine, wars. And it was an interesting theory. And it was widely dismissed as being you know too gloomy and but it's interesting it was it can really be capsulated too that when too many people are born and raised because they don't have the natural checks of of uh, birth control through abstinence or um, you know other social checks in society a high degree of morality and uh, being church going people then they start to lose their way in the world and society starts to lose those checks and balances and I couldn't help thinking about how many people today are dependent on uh, government and it's just the kind of thing that uh, I think Malthus would have been all over saying we've grown a huge portion of the uh, population that as time goes on is unwilling or unable 
to take the steps to care for itself and society starts to break down accordingly and I'm kind of thinking that although this guy was dismissed as something of a nut job there's something to it today we're seeing the breakdown of law and order the disrespect of uh, police the and a lot of the criticism of police is warranted in a lot of cases but the idea of a police force is kind of universally accepted as a necessity because not everybody plays by the rules and when that respect for authority and police starts to break down then bad things happen I think in nature I think in nature the heck is that <laughs> I think in nature we have the equivalent uh, you know bees nest a bee hive grows so big and then it just starts to collapse food sources disappear and the results are usually catastrophic so I worry a little bit now I worry a lot with what's going on because I really don't know apart from government intervention and stimulus and things like that if we're gonna be able to pull out of this before uh, government becomes so strained that uh, you know even more massive layoffs and Macy's announced this morning 3600 management people were being laid off from corporate lots of governments are laying off people now so it's kind of uh, it's kind of scary times if you're an observer here of what's going on in life in America and I'm starting to think there really is something to Thomas Malthus and his Malthusian solutions that societies have to break down that are unable to sustain themselves and now we're on the uh, fears of famine widespread famine and global global climate change all those things together you know, it's a bad brew and now I see it coming home last night the shooting a couple hundred feet a double shooting a couple hundred feet from the house and when you start to really hear it loud boom boom it really drives home so I think that we're still in kind of this la la land where we have this expectation that everything will be all right because this is America and things always come good in America, things always work their way out. But we see a, company, a country that's driving itself deeper and deeper into debt on a daily basis. And international trade down. The market's getting shaky again. So it's kind of a bad brew. And people are feeling a little, a little bit uncomfortable these days. They're a little worried about uh, travel being around other people, which is also a byproduct of Malthusianism that, uh, uh, you know, too many people living too close together and standards of hygiene and health aren't that great, especially in areas of poverty. So it's, it's more likely that a virus or something can break out that really really starts to take a toll and I think that we're seeing that now who knows so it's not it's just not having money it's having the feeling also you go to places like Las Vegas to party and then before you know it you're starting to feel a little down at the mouth because something is a little different in the world something is a little different in society and you start to uh, live life with uh, one eye looking behind you and a little bit of fear and the other eye looking ahead. It makes it very difficult to uh, 
derive enjoyment. So I guess all this, this is a way of saying that there's some kind of synchronous that's off in the world now. And it could take a long time until it's right again. There's so many things going on on so many fronts. Police, social unrest. It's almost like we're going through a cultural revolution similar to what China, disastrous one in China in 1966 to 1976 under uh, Chairman Mao. We're going through our own cultural revulsion now and tearing down and sanitizing our uh, past so who knows how that's gonna play out so you know it's just uh, no wonder people want to hunker down at home and, and just wait it out well, you guys have a good uh, very good Thursday not gonna be any b-roll today but have a wonderful day your thumbs up are appreciated I uh, appreciate your comments in the comment section down below how you think this is all playing out or how it's going to play out. Okay. Till I see you guys again, have a wonderful day.